Hello friends. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope that you've had a great Christmas day. And I am ready to read to my friends the story of baby Jesus. And this is the Bible story book that I said that I wanted to read on Christmas day. I have this red thing here. I know you can see this. I dropped my tripod so I had to find something until the new one comes and so I'm going to read this Alice and Bible Land storybook there are about 28 of these books and I only have about five of them and I'm trying to get them all so that I can read these to you but since it's Christmas day Christmas is all about this little baby that was born and that baby name is Jesus and Jesus is God's son. So this little girl name is Alice and she is going to be telling us the story of baby Jesus. So let's hear what happens. I love the Alice story books. There are a lot of them and I'm trying to get them all but I can't find them all yet. But when I get them, I'm going to be reading. So here we go. She's getting her tree ready, but it's Christmas Day today. So here we go. A little girl named Alice was as busy as can be. She helped make decorations for a big, tall Christmas tree. On Christmas Eve, she went to church, wrapped gifts for everyone, then picked up her Bible storybook when all her work was done. She opened up her book to read about the Christmas story so that she could understand its wonder and its glory. On a slightly open window, Alice heard a rap tap tap. The air bird, the air mail bird flew in and left this letter on her lap. Reading is the special key to take you where you want to be. The Bible story book became a great big open screen. Alice walked on through to Bible land and came upon this scene. She saw a woman, Mary, whose face was very fair, nearing Bethlehem with Joseph to pay a great tax there. Mary was going to have a baby, perhaps that very night. But Bethlehem was crowded with not a room in sight. Mary looked so tired that an innkeeper felt pity. He offered them his stable, the last room in the city. Not far away, some shepherds looked in fear up at the skies, then saw an angel coming down. His bright light filled their eyes. Don't be afraid, the angel said, for I bring you news of joy. Tonight in Bethlehem was born a holy baby boy. He's Christ the Lord, a savior. He'll save his people. He'll save people everywhere. He's sleeping in a manger. You'll find him lying there. Suddenly, the angel was joined by many more. The angels sang a song of praise to God whom they adore. Glory to our Father, to God who reigns above. Peace on earth, goodwill to all. God sends his gift of love. The angels finished singing their praise-filled song and then they rose up through the star-filled skies to heaven once again. Let's hurry on to Bethlehem, the shepherds cried with joy. They hastened through the starry night to see this holy boy. When the shepherds reached the stable, they saw a wondrous sight. 
for Mary's little baby had been born that very night. There in that humble stable among the oxen and the sheep, as his mother watched in wonder, the Son of God lay fast asleep. The shepherds knelt in wonder to see this miracle of birth. It was as the angel told them God had sent his love to earth. Mary called her baby Jesus. With and with a mother's tender touch, she wrapped a little blanket round this child she loved so much. The shepherds spread the joyous news about the Savior's birth and how this child could and how this child would change the world by bringing love to earth. Now in the east, a bright new star shone both night and morn. Three wise men who had seen the star knew a king was born. They wanted to adore him, so traveled far from afar. They knew that they would find the king by following the star. The star brought them to Bethlehem. It stopped above the door. Inside they found the baby they had wanted to adore. The wise men fell upon their knees before the newborn king. And being there with Jesus caused their happy hearts to sing. The men gave Jesus special gifts, then stood up to depart. And all these things that happened, Mary treasured in her heart. Now the time had come for Alice to walk back through her screen. She tiptoed home from Bible land and thought of what she'd seen. Alice thought about the shepherds and the star that shone above. She thought about the wise men and God's wondrous gift of love. And Alice thought about the newborn king and the angel's song of glory and found she knew the meaning of the wondrous Christmas story. On Christmas morn, when Alice woke, she raced down to the tree and sang this special song of praise for all her family. Glory to our God on high. Glory to our King. Praise him like the angels. Let our happy voices ring. Glory to our God above who so loved everyone. He gave the world a gift of love, Jesus Christ, his son. Glory to our God of love this joyous Christmas morn. And happy birthday, Jesus, on this day that you were born. Amen. I had to say amen to that story because that was the story of baby Jesus. And that is also the story of Christmas because Jesus is the Christ of Christmas. And I hope that you enjoyed that, friends. I was going to read this story earlier today, but I said if I read it too early, maybe some friends will get it. But if I read it as a nighttime story, it might be a better deal because friends are going to bed and they might get a bedtime story. So I wanted to make sure that I read you this one on Christmas Day and maybe you'll listen to it again tomorrow, the day after Christmas, because we'll be celebrating Christmas all the way up until the year turns over. So you got a few more times to listen to this beautiful Christmas story 
um, told by Alice from Bible Land. So I will see you on tomorrow. I have another, um, it's not really a Christmas story, but it's a story about a snowman. I'll tell you that. So we'll read that tomorrow. And I hope you had a great Christmas, friends. And I will see you tomorrow for another fun story at Christmas time. Be good and be kind. Bye-bye.